you doing? Welcome to the video. So today is going to be a little bit of a different video um, and I wanted to just have a quick chat with you about whether or not you need to sign up to any memberships for your football betting and football trading, such as the membership that I promote so annoyingly. Um, no, in all seriousness, when I first started out um, trading and trying to make money, or not even necessarily trying to make money, but trying to create systems and sort of just discovering that I had a bit of a passion for football trading uh, and looking at sort of data trends and stuff like that. And it was something that helped me relax and, and that I enjoyed. When I first started off, I got a bit of shiny object syndrome and wanted to buy systems, buy um, software, buy data packs. Um, I didn't spend money on tipsters because that was never something that was interesting. I wasn't interested in other people doing the work and me then just blindly placing bets. Um, I wanted to know how it worked. I wanted to I wanted to find a way to sort of create a sustainable system. So it wasn't tips so much for me, but it was, um, yeah, sites that sort of offered data, um, sort of sites that would help me track my bets, um, buying sort of templates for sort of um, record keeping and sort of um, there were a couple of websites that offered basically the data that I do now in the Possum Pack really. Um, you know, you'd go on the website and you'd be able to see certain data, but then the next few columns were blurred out and it said subscription only and stuff like that. They weren't scams or anything, but I'm not I'm not saying there's anything wrong with these sites. Um that it was it was good data. Um but what I, what I wanted to just get across was that you you're not always in the position that you need to start paying for things like this. And this is sharing it sort of from my from my experience. When I first started out, and I still have this problem now, which is why I don't actually put that much money on myself, I sort of struggle, and I struggled a lot more then, to stick to my plan. So I've talked to before about sort of setting out a plan, a daily plan for what you're going to bet on. Um, and I think it's really important, as well as a staking plan, is a plan so that you don't just bet on absolutely anything. So you're not there bored, you look at your phone and think, hmm, yeah, that looks good. And I fell into that trap because I quite enjoy uh, in-play betting, and with in-play betting, with the stuff that I do, especially on corners, you can't plan it in advance because you can do a certain amount of research and say, well, oh, these teams tend to have a lot of shots on target, tend to have a lot of corners, so I'm going to look out for that match, which I do. But then you could find a match that normally is dull as dishwater, and for some reason there's been four corners in the first half and um, and then another three before 70 minutes, and you think, well, there's clearly going to be over 10 here, I've got to get involved with it. Um and so it can be a little bit sort of um, hit and miss as to how many bets you're going to place in a day if you just keep looking at the opportunities like that. And that's where I used to get into trouble. I'm not so bad now, but it's still, you can sort of, your eyes can light up and think, oh, I can't let this one go. Um, so back to the point, though, it won't help you buying software, buying memberships, buying things to help your trading and your betting if you haven't got that self-discipline to follow what it is you are buying it for. So if you're buying it to improve your betting, to sort of uh, help you filter out the bets and help you find the games where you've got a high percentage of winning, where you've got value, such as the value bets in Poisson, um, it's no good buying that and then seeing a game and you think, well, I mean, yeah, the data doesn't say that it's going to be any good, but I, I think it would... No, stop. If you're still in the stage of doing that and you can't stick to your plan, which is fine because everyone gets into that position occasionally. Um, but if you're consistently doing that, then you're wasting your money buying a system that's going to sort of tell you, if you like, what to do, tell you which games are ticking your criteria. And then if you're going to ignore them, then you're wasting the monthly fee on that, aren't you really? So there's no there's no point. And that's not me having a go. That's, that's me saying, please don't waste your money if you're not at that position in your trading journey to take advantage of what you're paying for um because like i said i did it myself i and I'm, I'm still guilty of it a little bit um I, I sometimes get get bored and i'll have a look and be like oh yeah you know i'll get involved now i wasn't going to but i get i don't do it very often and as i say i haven't got much money in my bank account uh in my trading account at the moment anyway but it's easy to do and i think discipline is a very very overlooked uh skill of a trader and of a successful football better i'd say it's the number one i'd say it's number one because you can have all the systems in the world that work proven you can have all the data and you can have um you can turn on your computer and you can have a spreadsheet or you can have emails telling you these are the matches that you need to bet on today stay disciplined bet on these matches even if they lose you're betting on the right things 
um, and keep doing the right things and that's where value betting comes into play keep betting on the value bets and eventually you'll notice that you'll be up because you're only betting on value you're only getting good value you're not wasting your money you could open your computer and be told that every single day here's what you need to bet on if you're then going to stray and bet on other things then that money is going to be down the drain all the money that you've earned by following a good strategy can be thrown away by a quick oh i'm watching I'm watching this game on TV tonight and I fancy something to put on it. And now, don't get me wrong, if you're betting for fun, that's completely fine. I do that as well. I've got a second, um, I had a William Hill account that I used to just use free bets and um, anything that I won, like a few quid, I'd put that on a televised game. But I wouldn't do that with my Betfair trading account because that was where I was doing my serious stuff. And that's fine, but I'd advise that as well if you're going to do that. Just keep a second account that's just got a little bit of playing money in it if you like. Still try and try and win. But... You know, don't let that affect your main account where you're trying to actually do something with it and grow it and actually sort of put some time and effort into it. Because there's nothing more soul destroying than having a really good run on the tactic, uh, on the strategy that you, you're putting your sweat and tears into. And then seeing the profit just dwindle because you've bet on over two and a half goals in um, a championship game that you knew nothing about and hadn't done any research on because you were bored. So just please... Be aware that if you're watching my videos uh, and you're seeing all the stuff I'm doing about the possum pack and the draw selections and stuff, um, obviously I'd love everybody to subscribe and be part of the membership because I believe in it and I think it, I think it is a really helpful sort of tool in terms of aiding your selections. But that's all it is. It can only aid you. It can't make you into a disciplined trader or disciplined better. If you've got those personal skills sorted, which it takes time to do, and that's fine, but if you've got that side covered, if you can be disciplined and stick to what is in the pack and sort of stick to the stakes that you've set yourself, then I think this can help you. This data can help you um, and it can inform your decisions. But if you haven't got that initial sort of um, discipline, then I'd rather you waited and worked on that and just email me and we can I can share tips with you all day long. I don't mind. I'm not going to um, I'm not going to say, oh, no, I'm sorry. If you want any answers about that, you've got to get my pack now of course not i mean many people out there will know that i'm more than happy to email and and chat about anything um i'll give you away the, the secrets to all of the stuff it, you know i actually had someone email me uh, the other day a very friendly uh, member who said you might want to consider sort of taking the videos down where you talk about how you constructed the pot pack which is one of the earlier videos i think and he was being kind he was saying you know this is your sort of edge and if you want to make money from the pack you don't want people sort of copying it and I, I did think that before i put it up but i thought you know if a few people can go to the effort of building it and following what i did and sort of uh putting all that effort in then you know that's i'm fine with that um not everybody can afford to pay for it so if you can if you want to put the effort in to go to it that's fine um and that's similar to what what i think what i'd advise you do if you have got that discipline problem um, well not problem but discipline if you're progressing with your working on your discipline then maybe start building systems yourself just some small systems uh, I'm going to do a video uh, in a minute actually I'll record it about how you can do sort of very rough value betting um, without all the detail to give you a start which will be free, which is free you know a free way of you just scribbling it down um, start doing that until you get your discipline and then maybe delve into sort of looking at paid tools and paid software um, so yeah, I don't, I don't need to ramble anymore. That's all I wanted to say. I just wanted, it's just a quick tip really. It was just something that entered my mind while I was listening to another podcast, nothing to do with football, um, about people getting shiny object syndrome and thinking that all the tools will sort of fix their problems. Um, it's like a photographer, um, a, a rubbish photographer buying a new lens and thinking all of a sudden that he's going to win photography competitions when in fact he still got the lens cap on. It's, you know, you can, you can have all the sort of, uh, all the software, all the sort of tips that you want. Uh, and if you're not doing the basics right, it's not going to help you. And you're going to be wasting money. And I don't want you to waste money. So um, I've been there. I've wasted enough money for all of us. So let, let me uh, take that one on the chin and I'll save you the hassle. Um, okay, cool. So I'm going to go and I'll get that value betting uh, video up soon so that you can sort of see how you can roughly get started if you don't want to be spending any money. All right, thanks. Have a great time.